Pi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot and today I'm doing a reading for Pisces so today it is the 14th of April 2024. Let's see what's in the energy today for you Pisces so just remember this is a Pisces collective reading take what resonates for you and leave the rest but if you're watching this video there are messages for you in it Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to receive the messages. Messages for Pisces. First card of your reading today, you have thoughts. Okay, you have false person and you have imprisonment. So there's someone that's thinking about you, Pisces, that could be withholding something from you, someone that's in their mind about withholding something. This person could be creative. This person could be someone that paints, someone that uses their hands. They don't actually have to be someone that's an artist or anything, but... To me, they're holding something back from you. You've got privileged lady on the back of the deck. You could be this privileged lady. She reminds me of the divine femme. So like the receiver sitting in receiving mode. You could be focused on yourself. You could be in nine of pentacles energy also. Someone that's growing the crop around them. But there's someone that's withholding something from you. Some type of truth. Let's grab the tarot out for you now, Pisces, and see what's in the energy. Messages for Pisces. First card, the reading, you've got the moon, Pisces Cancer energy. Then the three of cups. The four of pentacles. The king of wands. Center of your reading today, Pisces. The Ace of Wands. Then you have the Hanging Man. Your energy. The Ten of Cups in the future. The Emperor, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. On the back of the deck, you've got the Sun and the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of happiness, abundance. Okay, Pisces, let's do it. What's the moon for Pisces? You have the Ace of Swords, so there's clarity, truth, you see the light, you see the truth. You've got the Devil, could be of some type of relationship that you had with the Devil, someone that has Capricorn in their chart, could be an ex. This person is withholding the truth. You know, this could be this person here in the Kippers. I feel like there's no communication between you and this energy, some type of hidden agenda wanted to come out but you're seeing the truth and clarity with this you're seeing the truth and clarity with this connection there could be some type of codependency between you and this energy 
This person could have Capricorn in their chart. They don't have to. They could be an ex. You could have been through it with this person. There could have been a past with the Queen of Swords coming out. I feel like you're the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're cutting this energy out. You're starting new. You're walking down a new path. Even though there could be things hidden from you, there's a path you're still taking. What's the Three of Cups? Some type of codependency or something like that between you and this energy. This person could have addictions. Three of Cups for Pisces. You have the Five of Wands. So there could have been reconciliation between you and this energy. I also feel like there could have been a third party situation which could have caused conflict. You got the Tower, Aries energy. So this was built on this unsteady foundation. This was something that was not solid. A lesson being learnt between family members. It could be family members. But there was some type of reconciliation between you and this energy. They could have Taurus in their chart. Someone that's a soulmate. You know, a lesson being learnt with the Hierophant coming out. Now, this was some type of commitment. This is a lesson for your higher learning. What's the Four of Pentacles for Pisces? So you have the Page of Wands. Death. Scorpio energy. And the Nine of Wands. So I feel like this person could have betrayed you. You've got the Ten Swords there or Ten of Swords. I feel like you're healing from this though. Those poppies are blooming. Poppies could be significant. The season that the poppies bloom could be significant. Obviously, it'd probably be spring. The season of spring could be significant. With the Four of Pentacles, though, I feel like you're holding back from that energy. I feel like there is an ending with this. This has left you in some type of wounded warrior energy with the Nine of Wands coming out. I also feel like you're on a new journey. You know, you're not even looking at that anymore. There's something that you're passionate about, that you're following something new. Uh, but this was that lesson being learnt. You know, you have those boundaries up now. You may have not had boundaries up before. What's the King of Wands for Pisces? You have the Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel is now turning... Sagittarius energy. There's a cycle being completed. You've got the world Capricorn energy. So that cycle being completed. Could be this person could live at a distance. Could be a different nationality. Could have Capricorn. And then you've got the three of swords. So this person holds a lot of attraction for you. I feel like this person's still watching you. You've got judgment coming out on the back of the deck, Scorpio energy. I feel like this person's now waking to a call. I feel like this person is receiving karma also. They could live at a distance. This person could be someone that is a star. But there could have been an ending with something this third party in their life also with the three of swords coming out like this karma is coming back to them something's biting them in the butt this person holds a lot of attraction could have fire in their chart leo aries sagittarius they don't have to someone that's a passionate fighter someone that goes um, and follows their dreams follows their passions with no tomorrow, I feel like, like no tomorrow, like just keeps going, someone that's very passionate, um, but this person holds a lot of fire and, and passion for you, this person's very sexually, I feel attracted to you, someone that can't get their eyes off you, what's the ace of wands, so you have the high priestess, the knight of wands, and the five of swords, so there's a new passionate beginning in your life, You know, after a loss, I feel like that person is wanting to come in. I feel like you're going a different way, though, with the High Priestess coming out. 
This person wants a passionate new beginning with you. This person, as I said, there's a lot of sexual energy here. So this person's very attracted. This person made you walk away. I feel like they're now regretting that decision. They're wanting to come back. I feel like you can feel this, Pisces, with the High Priestess coming out. This is your energy, Pisces energy. And this person's wanting to start a new passionate beginning. I feel like you are going with the flow of life. I feel this person sees this. I feel like this person feels that they may have another chance. Yeah, the Knight of Wands comes in and out. There's a lot of passion here. There's destructive energy in the past, though. Something that's still erupting. So this person could have a past that they're leaving and they're coming towards you with something new because of a karma situation that I feel is in their energy. What's the hanging man for Pisces? You've got the star, Aquarius energy. The seven of wands. And the lovers. So making a choice, making the right choice. You could be focused on something in the material world with the King of Pentacles coming out, Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It doesn't have to be. You could be focused on, you know, a family member, a lover, because you've got the lovers coming out, Gemini energy. You got the star Aquarius energy also. So I feel like, you know, you're feeling vulnerable. You're letting go of that situation. You're making a choice to the new. I feel like you could be manifesting a soulmate, a twin flame. With the seven of wands also, there was like a lot of conflict I feel in your life. I feel like you're trying to fight this off and you're letting go of something i feel like you realize that you know negative energy around you is showing you that that is not what your path is i feel like you're letting go of those situations that don't serve you no more you're looking at things from a different point of view with the hanging man coming out you could be spending money you could be self-indulging um, someone that is now looking at something from a different point of view, though, someone that's choosing the right thing. I feel like you're also realizing that the past wasn't the right thing for you and you're manifesting, you know, what you want. Okay, Pisces. So for future energy, you've got the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Cups? So you have the Eight of Swords, the Four of Wands. So in the future, you've got this emotional fulfillment while you move along a path with the moon coming out. You've got the devil on the back of the deck. There could be something that you're holding onto while you move forwards. There could be an energy that, you know, there's wanting to come back. You know, I feel like you need to walk this journey alone now. With the Ten of Cups coming out, it's going to lead to emotional fulfillment. There could be someone that's coming along. Could be family with the Four of Wands also. But 11-11, you're on the right track. I feel like you are imprisoned in your own mind about the situation with the Eight of Wands. You're the one that's still holding on to something. You know, you need to let go because there's a new path that you're taking that divine wants to take you down and it's going to lead to success. You know, 11, 11, you're on the right track. It could lead you to that soulmate because there is emotional fulfillment here. So there's, there's a path that you're following now. You're focusing on yourself. You could be focusing on family, you know, that's going to lead you to your success, leaving that negative energy behind. What's the emperor? What is the emperor? You have the Ace of Swords. The Six of Swords. And the Hanging Man. 
you're choosing a new option with the emperor coming out it could be someone that has aries in their chart it doesn't have to be it could be someone that you're choosing you know that is the father of your children with the emperor coming out but i feel like you're making the decisions you know you're seeing the truth and clarity what you need to focus on there's like a new beginning starting with a hanging man coming out it could be with someone that has Pisces in their chart it doesn't have to be but I feel like you're just going with that flow of life and when you go with that flow of life and choose this new decision it's going to lead you into karma water it's going to lead you into everything you want you can see you know this is coming for you in the future now but you're knowing that you know you don't need the negative in the energy in your energy anymore you're seeing the truth there could be someone coming towards you that's going to bring in calm, that's going to come and say something to you. What's the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles? So you have the Nine of Wands. Now this could be a boss, someone that's coming to give you like some type of new new start or help that's going to lead you or bring you into that calmer water and then you've got the fool now this could be a soulmate this could be that soulmate that's coming in with the two of cups on the back of the deck now you're following your dreams you could be giving also someone that's giving to the right people with the six of pentacles but there's something passionate that you're following and it could be something about giving like giving to people, helping people. You know, this is something that you are very passionate about. You are coming up as the Queen of Wands. You are someone that's very passionate. People look at you very attractively also. Someone that could have a companion. Dogs could be significant. But you are, I feel, having some type of clear boundaries after a loss or after some type of sadness in your life. I feel like you are making that choice to jump into this new and give to whatever the Six of Pentacles is to you. So whether it be something in the material world, whether it be love, you've got a soulmate there. So you could be working together with someone, giving to humanity, helping humanity. You know, but this is something you're passionate about and I feel like it's going to bring in equal in your life. It's going to bring in your happiness after after a bit of turbulence okay pisces so for what you don't see on the back of the deck you've got the sun and the ten of pentacles like this happiness the sun i was sitting outside this morning and the sun was shining on me and it felt so good like the rays of sun and it reminds me of that sun card right there What is the sun for Pisces? You know, I feel like you're going to see happiness. There's going to be a lot more happiness. I, the Queen of Pentacles really wants to come out again. The Queen of Pentacles, the Magician. So something that you're manifesting is going to come in to a fruition. It could be something that is a healing energy. It could be a Leo. It could be someone that is a child. It could be someone that has a child with you. Someone that has Virgo in their chart. But there's... There's a manifestation that is, I feel, going to heal you. With the Knight of Pentacles, it could be an earth sign. This is something that's slowly come into your energy, but it is all divine timing. Now, I feel like you needed to learn this lesson about this heartbreak, about having boundaries, having clear boundaries. You know, there was someone, I feel, that manipulated you in the past, but... I feel like you're manifesting something new and this is coming straight to you. This person could be someone that, you know, is reliable, but is someone that's a slow learner. Someone that could come in and out of your life, but they are slowly moving towards you in this divine timing. This person's looking at you like you are the queen of wands. Someone that's passionate, that's a fighter, that follows their dreams. Like a warrior. You know, this is going to lead to happiness and healing. Children, possibly, with the sun. 
What's the Ten of Pentacles? What's the Ten of Pentacles? Like, children could also be significant, be a factor. What's the Ten of Pentacles? You've got the Hierophant. So there is two rats or mice, or I think they're rats, on the Ten of Pentacles card. So there's two people working together. Then you've also got that Hierophant card. Judgment, Scorpio energy. Waking to the call is bringing in abundance. And this could be for you and another person. This person could have Scorpio or Taurus in their chart with the Hierophant coming out. Oh, look at that. And then you get the Two of Cups. These two are working together. Two soulmates could be like a mirror image to people that is like a twin flame, a soulmate, someone that's supposed to be in your life that's going to be working on something with you. Could be a commitment. There could be some type of higher learning. Like I feel like you and this person have this like raising the vibration of, you know, the earth, humanity. But this is going to be some type of healing energy. This is going to be healing for you and for this energy, for this other person. There will be some words being said from this person. They will make a choice to come forward and say something to you. I feel like you need to sit in that receiver energy. With the privileged lady come out, as I said, she reminds me of, you know, the empress, the divine feminine, someone that sits in receiver. Someone, this person could be in their head also about wanting to move forwards. But this person's very attracted to you. The soulmates wanting to come together. They want to wake to the call together. You have a job in this lifetime together to do something. Okay, Pisces, we're going to do a fortune telling card for you now. One card for the collective. Number two. So two reminds me of the twin flame number also. Two of cups. Two of hearts. Two, two. If a good chance is offered you now, take it. Okay, so I'm going to do three piles of the music messages. I did remember to mix the cards. So let's see what your card will be today. So pick your number, one, two, or three. You can pick more than one. Okay, just give it another shuffle. So this is for everyone. You've lost that loving feeling. The Righteous Brothers, that's for everybody. Okay, so pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So pick your number or numbers. So pile number one, these boots are made for walking, Nancy Sinatra. Pile number two, if you don't know me by now, simply red. And pile number three, I will wait, Mumford and Sons. So listen to those songs. They will have messages. And I will grab you out my cards. I will grab you out your water blessing cards. So it's like she's plunging. She's just going with the flow. She's jumped in. It sort of reminds me of the fool because she's sort of going down the waterfall in a somersault, which is pretty wild. Taking that leap. The fool's really coming out to me the last two days also. Number zero, card of the tarot deck. The fool is jumping in, so you could be jumping into some type of new world, new beginning, taking that leap of faith, going with the flow of life. An innocent leap of faith. And then you've got rebirth here. And living. You are destined to initiate divine celebrations for healing joy. So as I said, you could be someone that has some type of mission in this lifetime to help people. This could be your thing. Whatever you do and however you help people, you know, take what resonates for you, Pisces. But I am going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I am also now doing personal readings, so if you would like a personal reading from me, 
check out the link in the description below. But I thank you all for being here every day, supporting me in the channel, donations, uh, joining my memberships, everything you do for me and the channel, it means so much to me. Um, it helps me so much. It helps the channel so much. Um, and, you know, I love doing these readings. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Great weekend. I love you so much and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.